Hey, groups. Hey, it is so good to see you all again. Um, right now, we are in a series uh, in the book of Proverbs, Wisdom for the One Who Makes the Road. And I love what this series is, especially this first part of Proverbs, is this idea of things that we can put in in our backpack for the road that's coming ahead. Um, And this past week, we talked about what it means to be humble and to throw humility in our backpack. And there's no better example than who Jesus is when we look at humility. Um, I mean, Jesus could have hung out with anyone he wanted to. He had the Pharisees who uh, wanted to hang out with him, the religious leaders who wanted to be with him. And yet Jesus hangs out with the poor. He hangs out with people who can offer him really nothing. Those are who Jesus is. Those are the people who Jesus hang out with. And what does it look like for us to take on that same trait, to put that trait of humility in our backpack for the road ahead? So um, that's that's what we went through this weekend. Um, And I hope that these questions give you a better idea of what it means to be humble in your life. So let's dive right into the first question. It says this. Um, First, take a look at Proverbs 6, verses uh, 16 through 19, and then answer this question together. How are each of these traits the opposite of showing humility? Go through them one by one and talk about that. Question number two, if you imagined all of these things that you just answered from the first question, if you imagined all of those things in a backpack, um, think about which ones would be in your backpack. Are there things that you need to remove out of your backpack, out of your life, so that humility can come into it? When we look at the life of Jesus, um, we can understand pretty quickly that he is God. He really has no reason that he has to be humble. Yet when we look at Jesus' life, there are so many examples of how humility was so ingrained in who he is. Um, So I want to look a little bit closer with you guys at a story uh, from the Gospel of John that speaks to Jesus' humility. Um, So I want you guys to read John 13, 1 through... 17, and then we'll ask a few questions. Question number three says this. What do you think Jesus was trying to teach the disciples by washing their feet? Question number four, Um, in what areas of your life that you may be serving in a leadership role can you actually pull back from and serve the people around you? How How can you mirror what Jesus did in those verses we just read? Question number five, and I think this one is super interesting to think about. Why do you think Peter refuses to allow Jesus to wash his feet? Um, we see that Jesus responds in a way that says, no, I, I will wash your feet. That's, that's who I am. Um, when we think about our life, um, the second question in that is also, what instance have you had in your life when you said no to someone trying to help you? Um, talk about that in your group. Question number six, Um, and you'll find this question in the rest of our group's questions as we continue to go, but was there anything that you heard in the teaching or in the devotions this week that spoke to you? Um, Talk about that in your group, and then make sure uh, you ask for prayer requests. Make sure that as a group you are living together in prayer and encompassing our lives in prayer. So um, 
as you do that, I hope you guys have some great conversations. Uh, if you have some time, make sure you head to the Digging Deeper section because it asks some good questions about what, what does it mean to be humble? Are we supposed to do all of these good things in secret? Um, so I think that's a good question you can wrestle with as a group. Um, but until next time, we are so excited that you're able to dive in to the Word of God together. I hope you guys all have a great, great week and we will see you next time.